everyone, I'm doing an 80s look today for you to try and copy, so good luck to everyone trying to copy this. I'm going to start with a bright pink eyeshadow on an eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer portion of my eyelid and focus it up in the crease and towards the eyebrow. So I'm just placing that on first and not blending it out at all. Literally just patting it on and then blending it up. And because it's an 80s look, blending it into the eyebrow is good because we want everything to be quite smudgy. And then also in, you're going to want to blend it right out onto the temple because we're going to be adding a lot of colour there in a bit. And basically you're just going to want to build up that colour saturation. So I'm doing a couple layers of that pink. Just blowing it out to the temple. Literally right into the hairline. And up into the eyebrow. Then I'm going to swap eyeshadow brushes and then I'm going to take a bright orange. And I'm going to focus that on the top portion of the eyelid but not the mobile lid I'm going to keep that space clear so kind of where the eyebrow meets the eyelid skin and you're going to want to blend the orange into the pink you're going to be wanting to swap brushes alternating to blend the orange into the pink so you get a really seamless colour and again, blend the orange up into the eyebrow like that. And once again, you're just going to want to pack the colour on in stamping motions, blending it into the pink like so. I actually bring a little bit up above the eyebrow again sweeping it up over the temple like that we're going to saturate this colour even more in a bit and now because you've added the orange into the pink you may have lost a little bit of that colour so once again I'm just taking the original brush into some pink and blending that over what we've already done okay and then I'm going to take a third brush and I'm going to take a nice bright yellow so the 80s are all about bright colours so you just want to Stamp. so the space that we kept clear on the mobile lid that's where you're going to work that yellow into now and once again just blending all of the colours together and because these are such bright colours the first few times they can come out a little bit ashy and not as pigmented so just keep adding the layers working them up like so And sometimes it's easier just to take a little bit on your finger and to press it on and then blend with a brush. Okay, so then I'm going to take quite a thin brush and I'm going to take a deep blue colour, almost a navy blue colour, and I'm going to go underneath the eye with that and just smudge it under the eye and then 
literally using my finger to smudge it out a little bit. And now this looks a little bottom heavy at the moment. But we're going to add lashes in a bit. So that will help bring some of the weight back to the top. So now we're going to add some colour to the outer temple area. So I'm going to start with the pink on a wide blush brush and just take that on the temple all the way back into the hairline, blending up and down sort of in like a crescent C shape. And making sure that you're always going back onto the eye and blending that in. Okay, then in a separate blush brush, do the same thing with the orange on top of the pink, blending it into skin, making it really seamless. So this is sort of inspired by like Toya Wilcox, Boy George sort of era. And we want a really seamless blend between these two colours. So we just keep building up and blending it into skin. And then a final third blush brush with the final colour, which is the yellow. And again, bringing that down. And just like we did on the eye, when you are blending, you can lose some of the pigment. So we're just going to go in and blend through with another layer of those colours. Particularly focusing on the pink because that's the main colour that we want coming through. And then in the 80s, they often brought this colour down onto their cheekbones. So like you would normally contour, so you find the hollow of your cheekbone. Um, the colour on the blush brushes, you just keep bringing down onto that section. So you almost contour with all the bright colours. And then you just repeat it on the other side.
Okay, so when you're at this stage, you've done the same on both sides. We're going to add some liner. So you're going to want a liquid liner. And you're going to basically draw a wing from the outer corner of your eye. And you're going to create a winged liner. So you basically draw the line at a diagonal out from the corner of your eye. From the point of where that's just finished. Draw another line creating a small triangle back towards your eyelashes and then fill in the gap in between. Okay, so now is when we add the lashes so you want to grab the lashes in the middle and you want to grab your glue and you want to put a really small layer of glue along the lash band so that's the bit that goes actually on your eyelid So a really, really thin amount. And the trick is to let it dry before you put it on your eye. Because if you put it on when it's still wet, it can slip around and it's a lot harder. Okay, so then you want to look down into a mirror and just place it on your lid as close to your eyelashes as you can get and then you just want to press each bit of it down Okay, so once you've got your eyelashes on and the glue is dried, we're going to move on to lips. So again, because the 80s were all about bright colours, we're going to do a bright red lip. So you're just going to fill in your entire lip with this bright red colour. And then you want to kind of look over what you've done, maybe add a little bit more pink. Because that is our base colour. So I'm just going to add a little bit more pink to the temples. Just to enhance it even more. And yeah, that is the look finished. I'm really looking forward to seeing how yours turns out. Good luck.